Just two days ago, we heard from a student and a staff member from RPS 205 about how they're feeling with new scanners. And now we're hearing from the district about what's working and what needs to be fixed along the way. Our 13 WRX is Dylan Valencia joins us with more. Yeah, that's right, Manny. Well, just two months ago, students at RPS 205 got to walk through doors with new security system. And since then, no weapons have luckily been found. But the district says they have struggled with manning these doors. You know, we did learn some things along the way. Uh, you know, students are seeing administrators on a daily basis, so I think they're building deeper relationships. Two months into the school year at RPS 205, high schools are growing accustomed to checking students for weapons upon entry. One thing the district has had issues with is staffing those entrances where these scanners are, with guard staffing shortages from their outsource company started our year off about 56 percent strength for our guard staff and we've we've addressed that over the last month month and a half and we're up above 85 plus percent so we feel like that alone will help uh, alleviate some of that that burden that the staff has had to pick up so they can go back to their normal activities in their buildings in the mornings students mentioning having to wait in line to enter campus but overall feel safe as the school works to man more entrances if i'm a student coming in the building and I, you know that i i just don't even want to take the risk of, of getting caught, so I'm not going to bring that to the buildings. But what about how these scanners impact student mental health? In partnership with Rosecrans, there are mental health staff in 14 schools. They might not necessarily have been thinking about it before, and now they are. And maybe kids that were worried about it before, this might give them a, you know, more of a sense of safety. So I, it's really going to vary depending on the student, I think. Mental health specialists encourage parents to have conversations with their children about these scanners, especially with the possibility of these scanners entering other schools with younger children down the line. And one of the things we're doing is reviewing statistics on this particular on the particular systems. We see right around 8,000 students a day coming through our 18 systems. Uh, so we're getting a lot of data, and that'll help us inf help inform us on, on what our steps are going forward. Now the district plans on updating these scanners to make sure there are no false positives, and they have not made a decision about bringing more scanners into other schools as they continue to look at more data. For now, I'll send it back over to you.